Good morning. Sunday morning. The, uh, in news that's absolutely heartbreaking for me, and I know that it's probably the same for you, that, come on, people, what kind of animals are you? What kind of society are we living in when such a caring human being who's done so much for everyone? We're not going to say anything about her intentionally delaying stimulus talks. $1,200 check could have been had long ago, but delaying the stimulus package from passing making people suffer all over an election, which she admits to. We're not going to say anything about that because she really has the people's best interest in mind when she did that. It wasn't anything to do with the election. No, forget what I said. She has your best interest in mind. We represent them, and we represent them, and we represent them, and we represent them. <laughs> Remember that with our interview with Wolf? We can't put food on the table. We can't pay the rent. And we represent them. And we represent them. Getting and by we represent these them. long food and lines we represent that we see. Them. I know we you know are. Them. I'm, I'm just we saying. We represent them and we know them. Nancy Pelosi's $5 million San Francisco home is vandalized with red paint, a pig's head, and a spray-painted message about $2,000 checks as Democrats battle Republicans over stimulus payments. And I've heard a lot of people talking about this. It's more of a establishment versus populist issue, more so than left and right. Obviously, left and right as well, but establishment versus populist that Trump's even talking with Bernie Sanders about this or giving him praise or they're kind of trying to work together on this in some way. Maybe not directly, but indirectly. Police sources told TMZ that cops were called out to reports of vandalism at the House Speaker's property around 3 a.m. New Year's Day. Daily Mail has contacted San Francisco Police Department for comment. A photo posted on social media shows a white garage plastered in graffiti. 2K is written on the garage and then crossed out in what appears to be reference to the $2,000 stimulus checks Pelosi is pushing for. The graffiti also reads, Cancel rent, and we want everything. Red paint covers the driveway, and a pig's head sits on the paving slabs. Now, Pelosi is pushing the $2,000 check, so I will give her credit for that, but the delay from before, and a lot of you probably are familiar with that story, but she is currently pushing for that $2,000 check, but of course Trump... He's trying to tie it to some other things. I think Section 230 was in there. And then McConnell went off in his own direction and tied the $2,000 checks into some other things as well. But forget what I'm talking about. Let's see the photographs. Here we go. 2K, cancel rent. We want everything, as I said. So you've got the anarchy symbol here. Not very well drawn. You know, whenever I see stuff like this and... <laughs> I know, I know, I know. The pig's head. How could you forget with the blood? Probably fake. When I see stuff like this, I often think about the propaganda war. The tit for tat in the media. More so, obviously, propagated by the left. Because you know you only need propaganda when your message or your side is full of shit. If you have a legitimate message and something legitimate to say, then you just say it. You don't come out and say, oh, we're trying to win the propaganda war. It's like, just be honest with people. And if your message is something that resonates with enough people, no need to lie, no need to fake, no need to pretend. Yeah, I know, I'm asking too much. I wonder if this possibly could have been done by somebody on the right. And I always think the same thing. We see it so many times. We see like a, a Nazi symbol or a KKK spray painted somewhere like a statue of a black person that gets spray painted and they write these racial things on it. But oftentimes we find out it was just a hoax. And a story I recall, not so much, I don't think it was proven a hoax, but there was some supposedly racial stuff written on the home of LeBron James and it turned out to be this whole kind of fiasco where it turned out that the story wasn't exactly what it was represented to be. There have been a lot of instances where these things have been done by the other side where they try to make their opponent or that individual that's working against them where they try to make them look bad. So I'd wonder who really did this. And come on, if this home is really worth $5 million, shouldn't there be some nice security cameras everywhere? I know it's probably dark when it happened, but still. I was going to talk about this, but I was scrolling through and they got to it anyway. You remember? <laughs> it says here, it was back in September. It says here, he appeared to defecate in the driveway of her home 
in a live stream video. If you haven't seen that, I'll try to locate the video. If I can find it, I'll go ahead and put it up into this video so you can see that. Like you, most of you have probably seen that. That was pretty funny, I have to admit. And it was just on the sidewalk. I mean, come on, it's San Francisco. It's not even a crime to take a dump on a sidewalk in San Francisco. So it's not like he took a dump, smeared it all over her garage and said, I see what you're wearing, Nancy. <laughs> Getting back to it, I will say this in conclusion, just to wrap it up. Short story, you get it. If it was an individual who's on the left, like far leftist that did this, saying they want everything, then I get it. They've been telling us that for the past six, seven, eight, nine months. Over the summer, we saw them rioting, saying they wanted everything. Everything was reparations. They're owed everything. No rent, no house payment, Medicare for all. Everything's free. Everything's a human right. So they're telling you what they want. And they've always told you what they want. So the fact that they're pushing the Democrats further and further left, and we saw that during the election and kind of how politicians were pushed further and further to the left. We'll see what happens under a Biden presidency for a year or two until they push him aside and get Kamala in there somehow. They're not patient. And if it comes tomorrow, that's probably not fast enough. So the fact that they're doing this, I think, is strategically good from their perspective. Obviously, I don't agree with that. That's not my thing. But the more you see this, the more it hopefully opens up people's eyes and shows people who the Democrats are in bed with and who they're catering to. Should Biden and Harris cater to this during their presidency? Perhaps they won't. We have seen some things where they're pushing the more progressive type people out of the picture, bringing back the old Obama type individuals into the cabinet. Point is, we'll see how willing they are to accept this message into the Democratic Party. But if they do, that just pushes more individuals towards the center or towards the right. Now, it's funny that you have a lot of people talking about, oh, Trumpsters, this and that, the MAGA woman on the airplane, another story I recently did a video on and put up, had some laughs about that one. But they think that that is representative of Trump's America. People on the right could easily say, well, this is Biden's America. Everything for free, no idea how they're going to pay for it. It's system, <laughs> communism, socialism. It just doesn't work historically. But that's about as far as I'm going to get into it for now. So 2021's been off to a good start for me. Hopefully it's been for you. It's going to get interesting. We'll see. 2020 is going to be hard to repeat, <laughs> but we'll see. Stories like this get it off to a great start, I guess. Be well, everybody. And if you're going to take a dump on your neighbor's driveway, maybe don't film it and stream it live. And if you've got a pig head laying around, maybe you can find something better to do with it, such as eat some of it rather than to waste it on a turd like Pelosi. All the best, everybody. Be well.